Hi, I'm Sean McQuillan from Sauce Labs, and I'm pleased to introduce Sauce RC 1.0. Sauce RC 1.0 is Sauce Labs Zero Configuration Selenium RC, and it's going to let you get started testing today. Let's go ahead and take a look. You can find Sauce RC on saucelabs.com in the downloads page. You'll find versions for Windows and Mac. Sauce RC aims to save you time, and that starts with installation. Instead of a command line, we've created a graphical installer so that you can get started today. It contains open-sourced patches to support Firefox 3.5 and 3.6 on Windows and Mac. It also includes support for Chrome on Mac, and of course all the other browsers that you've come to expect from Selenium. Sauce RC is a native application, so launch it from the Apps menu or the Start menu on Windows. We've cooked up this easy-to-use GUI with an integrated log viewer and a graphical preference pane. The preference plane allows you to configure your RC server without going to the command line or remembering obscure command line options. We've also included help so you can remember what each option does without having to go to the documentation. Now I'm going to show you how to use Sauce RC. First we're going to go to Sauce IDE, which is our record playback tool for Firefox, so I can go ahead and record a test. I'm just going to go ahead and verify that the download link that I've added to the download page actually made it to the final version of our site. You can see here that the test was recorded automatically. I didn't have to program anything. So let's go ahead and take a look at this. We can use uh, the exporter to convert this to Java. It'll create a JUnit file so that we can put this straight into our continuous integration scripts. I can export this to other languages, and I'm going to go ahead and use Ruby. So let's make an RSpec file, which we could drop straight into a test case for maybe a Rails project. Uh, let's go ahead and take this over to TextMate so that I can take a look at the file and run it. So once we save this, there's just one thing we're going to need to change in the file. The URL is currently pointing to change this to the site you are testing. We should change that to saucelabs.com in this case, but you'll change that to the site that you are testing. So let's go ahead and run this. You'll see in the background that saucerc will launch a Firefox and run the test that we just recorded. We could run this back in Safari or Chrome, or on Windows we could be running this in Internet Explorer, a mini version. That test ran correctly, but we couldn't see what was going on. So let's go ahead and set single window mode in Sauce RC, and without ever going to the command line, change the configuration and run the test again. Sauce RC will save you time locally, and our cloud service will save you infrastructure as well. Go to saucelabs.com and sign up for an on-demand account. Uh, on-demand is our subscription service that you can buy subscriptions for five cents a minute, or you can buy prepaid plans at the prices listed on our website. Once you've activated your account, you need to tell Sauce RC how to use your on-demand account. So let's copy the access key over to Sauce On Demand. Um, whoops, we're still in Sauce RC mode, so we'll need to change the mode to Sauce On Demand. Once we do that, we'll put in our username and then our access key. Uh, we can choose Windows or Linux, um, Internet Explorer, Firefox, Chrome, Opera, Safari, and you can choose from a list of all browser versions available to you with Sauce On Demand. So let's save that and go back over to our test case. So without editing a single line, we can run the same test against Sauce On Demand, our cloud-based service. And this is amazing for people with existing continuous integration systems because they can run their existing test scripts against On Demand, increase the number of browsers available to their tests without having to go through the painful process of installing new machines and new browsers. Another amazing feature of On Demand is that we record a video of every test you run against it. And these videos stay around, so we've had customers integrate this with their continuous integration system, so that when a test breaks, they just send the video off to the developer, the developer views the video, the log file, and they know exactly what went wrong. You don't have to write detailed descriptions about how to reproduce the test error. This will both save you time, and it'll get your bugs fixed faster, because a video is worth way more than a thousand words. We hope you enjoy Sauce RC. We spent quite a bit of time cooking it up here at Sauce Labs. And of course, all of our Selenium RC patches are open source. At Sauce Labs, we aim to make Selenium easier. And on that note, if you have any questions, feel free to contact us at help at saucelabs.com.